beautiful Paris I have not been here since 2019 um, this was a very last-minute trip just coming here just to experience Paris again <laughs> and get lots of affordable skincare um, so this is just me checking into my hotel um, I stayed here two nights it was a beautiful hotel very small as to be expected in Paris you pay ten thousand dollars for a shoebox <laughs> i used to live here i should know um so yeah this is just going to be a vlog of me exploring paris i did end up going to amsterdam afterwards but i didn't add those clips because it wasn't much clips to add to be honest but just me enjoying paris and i hope you guys enjoy First things first, if you know, you know I'm a licensed esthetician, so skincare is always going to be my first thing that I look into. Um, this pharmacy didn't have exactly what I needed, so I can shop around other places, but they had such a pretty good selection of Nooks products, which I actually do enjoy. Um, did a little bit of exploring, lots of walking, guys. I just really wanted to sightsee, and I will say this time around me being a hijabi in paris it was a different experience it wasn't the worst experience but it was different so the next day i actually went to the louvre i've been to the louvre before however i have never been inside of the louvre so I definitely went on a day where it was extremely hot the line was extremely long but we made it through I got these beautiful views of the inside of the Louvre. I actually have a story to me about the Louvre, about me getting locked in one of the um, museum little, um, what are they called? The museum exhibitions. I got locked inside of one and I freaked out. But this is just me exploring the museum. It's very beautiful. Um, I didn't care for most of the art, but some of the art was very standout and I really enjoyed my time there. So this was the one that was extremely crowded the mona lisa i immediately wanted to get out of there and i found this beautiful room to film some shorts in just looking stylish and profilish and the little headphone thing that i had on was this little thing you can buy that tells you about the art while you're staying in front of it um the egyptian exhibit was really nice breathtaking for sure i did not like the fact that they have mummies there like that was very strange and i did not like it so I went ahead and looked at something else. <laughs> I skipped over that. But the architecture was so beautiful. Now this Islamic art exhibit is the one that I got locked into. Um, they were closing in about 15 minutes and I wanted to go downstairs, which is what you're seeing now. Long story short, by the time I came back upstairs, literally with like two or three minutes before they closed, I was the only person in there. The security guard was gone and I freaked out. Long story short, I got out, but it was, it was very, anxiety driven it gave me an anxiety attack so i went to Cote bought my favorite hand cream because it's way cheaper in paris you can get two of these for like eight euros meanwhile in the u.s both of them are like if i were to get both i would be spending over 40 dollars because they're 18 dollars a piece stopped at lottery love lottery macaroons and i got me some and i enjoyed them try that as well the Marie Antoinette is like black tea bergamot it's like a Earl Grey which I I love Earl Grey tea the rose it's very much rosy <laughs> like a real rose flower I 
trash here. This one's very moist. I just demolished this so fast. It was so good. That's why I know I'm hungry. So I need to go find some food. Much better. I had to fix my scarf. It's like my fifth time changing it around. So after a long day of walking, I actually went to give me some food from this halal place. It was really good actually. Um, the clip before this that I actually didn't put in here was me talking about how Paris is ghetto and it actually is. <laughs> um, and I was actually in the Uber on my way to the hostel. First time trying a hostel and I actually enjoyed it. So let's continue. Good morning guys. <clears throat> the next day i survived um the hostel is actually it's really nice it's really nice it's quiet i like that and yeah um right now i'm walking to this poke place i'm starving i'm starving today so i'm walking to this poke place gonna get some food hopefully they have like some fresh juice or something um but yeah i just want to eat i'm so hungry I'll show you guys around. I'm not gonna lie, that food was trash. I've never had such a bland poke bowl in my life. I'm not gonna lie, that was trash. But it's fine. As long as I got something in my system, because I'm walking to the masjid. As long as I got something in my system just to hold me over for at least energy, you know? That's all that matters. But I'm walking to the masjid so inshallah I can get my blessings, inshallah. All right, guys. So, I'm leaving the mosque, the master. I'm not gonna lie, I took a little nap. I took a little nappy nap. So tired. Whew. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Actually, I do wanna go see the garden, so I'm gonna walk to see the garden. I'll show you guys the mosque. There's a few non-Muslims here doing tours, but Alhamdulillah, it's so beautiful. Alright, so I'm on the other side of the garden. This mosque, Alhamdulillah, is so beautiful, it's so peaceful. I wish we had beautiful masjids like this, like in the States. I mean, we do, we do, don't get me wrong, but I wish we had more, more just as beautiful. Oh, I'm doing that. so beautiful. So interesting how this is a country that tries to oppress Muslims from you know, what's important to us, um, especially for young girls, covering, praying, being modest. Yet they come to places like this where we worship um, as if it's like a tourist attraction. And yes, I know masjids are welcome, welcoming all to come and learn about the religion and so forth. It's just an interesting you know, I'll take on that. I'm gonna sit here. <sighs> As I was saying, moving away from your hometown is always a good decision. Do it. It's very freeing. It opens you to so many new possibilities, to meet so many new different people, to learn so much. And you know, if you never know, if you never do, you will never know. And I just think like, why not take the chance you know i know people who have grew up where, I, where i'm from and they've been there their entire lives 
they don't know anything outside of that or they might have left for a little bit but then they quickly return you know based out of discomfort um i feel like the farther you are away from home or what you would consider home is probably one of the most daring things anyone can do because we conform to comfort um and when you're put in an uncomfortable position you learn to grow from those situations so i always say moving away from your hometown is super freeing getting away out of what you know is super freeing it allows you to grow in so many ways um and it's never going to be a bad decision because you're always going to learn something from that specific um action that you took from moving away from your hometown so move away from your hometown it's a good decision trust me i just left the pharmacy i didn't get a hundred dollars worth so i didn't get the tax thing but i'll figure that out when i get to the airport i don't know but yeah i'm about to go to the gallery de lafayette um i'm just gonna <gasps> wait where's my train pass <laughs> Pistachio raspberry cake. I'm leaving the tax thing there. Um, I didn't get much money back, but it was something. I literally got to the airport and went to the hotel and was like, wait. Let me try to run over there really, really fast. But to be honest, I probably won't come back to Paris. Yeah, I most likely won't come back to Paris. Um, I don't know. I just have like a... It's not, it wasn't a bad trip. Don't get me wrong. I just have like a... Eerie taste in my mouth about Paris. France in general. But I probably won't come back for a while. I'm good on Paris. <laughs> But yeah, all right, got my money, got my fragrance. Time to go back to the hostel, shower, and relax. I have to take an early, early bus to Amsterdam tomorrow. So we're back at the hostel. This is the hostel on the outside. This area is really nice. It's right off the river. Um, they had like this cute restaurant. I'll show you guys once I shower and like chill. But this is the place. They have a restaurant and everything. I'll show you. Alright, so nobody's in the room right now. Yeah, no one's in here. But this is the hostel. This is the four bedroom hostel. Four. Um, so you'll have two beds on the bottom, one, that one's mine there. Everyone also gets their own little locker situation. Everyone has their own curtain, their little private light. Honestly, I slept really good in here. Not to mention the restroom. They clean it every day. Someone's been in here since they cleaned it, <clears throat> but they clean it every day. They have a towel, they have soap if you need soap and everything. And yeah, pretty much everything's just set up for you. And this is the outside. They have chill rooms on this floor. And it just goes on and on. But yeah, based on last night, for me, it wasn't a bad experience. Um, no one's really in the room anyway, so you mostly have the room to yourself. Unless you just have like a hermit who decided to leave their country and come here and not get out. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have that. Um, but yeah, it's super chill. Um, I would recommend it. Super chill if you're on a budget. Paris is pretty expensive. Um, but if you want to spend money on maybe like items this would be a good accommodation i've seen a few families i've seen like some women who went to the chanel store bought some chanel bags also stay here too so yeah you can get a private room you can get a room that has like six or seven beds by yourself for a whole family situation um but yeah so far so good i would definitely recommend it i'm about to shower 
get my head together <laughs> repack for tomorrow because the bus to amsterdam leaves super early um i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i love you guys so so much i'm sending them a love that and positive energy oh wait i still have to show you guys the rest i'll do that let me do that first okay so before i shower actually i want to show you guys um what i ended up getting from the french pharmacy a lot of these products i've already tried before <clears throat> they are cheaper here and i just wanted to pick them up so i ended up getting the bioderma cleansing oil you can use this for your face your body your hands i found this well i know about this for a long time but i ended up picking it up in uh dubai fell in love with it i also picked up the antioxidant avene um, smoothing water cream. The only thing is that this one says day and they have one for night, but if I'm not mistaken, the one in the States doesn't say day or night. I also picked up this Aven, I say Aven, Aven um, Hydra 10 facial cream. This was like $15. Oh, this was like four um, euros. This was like 30 euros compared to like 50-ish something. Um, in the states um this was 15 euros and this is a hyaluronic acid um just face cream and then the last thing that i got was the nukes uh body oil i tried this many many moons ago when i used to live in Strasbourg, and i fell in love with it and uh, yeah that was all that i got so i'm gonna use this tonight use that tonight um but yeah that's all i got i just wanted to show you guys that so i'm gonna go now <laughs>